Hi, Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Tell me something. Do you believe in mediums? No, I'm not talking about your genes, Sally. We all know you're an XXL. I want to know if you have had an experience with mediums, um, whether you are in, whether you believe in, in mediums, whether you have um, gone to a medium for any reason. Uh, right from the start of this video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I'm going to probably piss a lot of people off here, um, so please don't, don't rag me and drag me the way you did with my journaling video. <laughs> okay, these are just my opinions, people. Okay, so there's the caveat for you right in the beginning. I don't believe that mediumship is as widespread as it is touted to be. Okay, I don't believe that there are as many true mediums out there than what their what they say than what people think. Um, I do believe in mediumship. I have met somebody. I don't know them personally, but I've met someone that I went to, um, and I was amazed at what they told me. And they honestly, honest to honest to goodness, they did not know me from a bar of soap. They had no way of getting anything out of me. Um, they had no way of contacting me before the reading. They had no way of doing anything before the sitting. Sorry, it's not a reading, it's a sitting. And the person was actually right down the coast um, in, a, in a little town that's, that's about an hour and a half drive from where I stay. So there was no way she could even look me up on, on the internet. It was way before, long before I had this channel, so she couldn't even do that. Um, I went to the lady and she was, wow, she blew me away with what she told me. So yes, I do believe that there are mediums, but I also believe that there are so many fakes out there that they give true mediums a really bad name. Now, I did a video and I'm going to link it down below. Please go and have a look at it because it was quite a sort of, it was a very interesting situation that I was in. I was at a, a spiritual fair and I had this lady who stopped me and said, oh, your mother's trying to come through. Please go and have a look at that video. That was one of the incredibly most, most incredibly negative um, experiences that I had with a medium, who, a lady who claimed to be a medium. Um, and I think if you have that experience, it tends to uh, put you off mediums for life. It also tends to make you doubt so many things, so many esoteric things, that these charlatans are out there and they're actually changing your perception of what is real, what isn't real, what can be done, what can't be done. Again, I'm not saying there aren't any mediums out there. I, as I said, I went to this lady, she blew my mind completely. But what about the, the charlatans out there? What about the people who have told you things and you're sitting there thinking this is utter crap i don't have a great aunt i never had an aunt my mother was a single you know child or whatever um what about the people who say to your great great grandmother who's come through my great great grandmother my god people i don't remember her i don't know her um she doesn't know me my great great grandmother never even saw me i wasn't born <laughs> okay and to come and sort of say oh you know your great great grandmother is coming through and she's saying to you do not grow your goatee back or do not go to that party all right or whatever 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 okay and um, she sees you know you are you know she's she's happy on the after in the afterlife i think because of my beliefs i don't believe that i don't believe that mediums can can operate in that way and i don't believe true mediums do that I don't believe a true medium will come through and say, you know, um, this is what you need to do and that is what you need to do. And, you know, your great uncle Paul is here with me and he's standing behind you. Uh -uh. I think the more that they that a medium comes through with that sort of thing, the more suspicious you should be. I believe that with a true medium, they'll be calm, they'll be cool, they'll be collected. They won't ask as many questions from you. Um, they will simply tell you certain things. And I don't, I often don't, think, well, I don't think that they often can see who it is. Like they wouldn't, they wouldn't say like, oh, your, your mother has come through. Um, as soon as somebody says that to me, I'm like, wow, okay, I don't know about this because my mom was never that kind of person. Um, so yeah, um, I have a bit of a problem with, I'd say 80% of, of people who call themselves mediums. Um, my previous partner we were together for 19 years and his mom his mother died um, uh, his mom and my mom shared a house together 
for many reasons. Like my mom had nowhere to stay and they ended up getting, you know, it was just cheaper and it was just, so they ended up in this, living in the same house. And um, when my partner's mother died, my mom was the one who found her and blah, blah, blah. And he was, he was very struck down. He was devastated when his mom died. And um, the reason I'm telling you that my mom actually lived in the same house is because I don't know if she did a terrible thing or if it was a kind thing. What she did was she bought a bottle of um, my mother-in-law's perfume and every now and again she would spray it in the air. And my partner at that time would think that his mother was there. And I don't, I don't know if that's a terrible thing. I don't know if that's a cruel thing. I do know that it made him feel really, really safe and secure and knowing that well, under the impression that his mother was there because he could smell her perfume. Um, you tell me, do you think my mom was cruel? Do you think she was doing it? Out? I know for a fact that she was doing it out of the kindness of her heart, but often kind gestures can appear to be very cruel. I don't know about that. Um, I do know that he was uh, devastated at his mom's death and that he suddenly, from someone who had no spiritual background, no religious background at all, uh, he wasn't even atheist, it was just something that religion just never came up in his family. He suddenly did a 360 and he started visiting mediums and he started visiting healers and all kinds of things. And I'd never forget the one, I will tell you the story quickly. He went to a lady in, as I say, a place far away from us and she took him in and she said, come through to the room and I was waiting in the car. Um, and she spoke to him for about 10 minutes and then she said to him, hey, are you here with somebody? And he said, yes, you know, my partner's sitting in the car. She said, I want to see him. Anyway, kind of long story short, I ended up going in and she did more of a, a, a fortune kind of medium thing for me than for him. So he was a bit pissed off. <laughs> um, and of course, what she said was a load of cack. So I, I just felt, felt paying the money was a complete and utter waste of time. Um, and I think a lot of these people are like that. I remember going down the coast for a very similar reason. And this lady had a wonderful sort of spiritual retreat. And um, she basically just, for, for a lot of money, she basically just told my partner how things work on the other side. She never, nobody came through to her. She didn't say anything. And for a lot of money, she basically gave a lecture on how things work on the other side and how you would, you know, you can choose this and choose that and soul contracts and all that. And we left and I suddenly realized this woman hadn't said anything that I couldn't have said myself. So I think there are a lot of people out there who are taking great advantage. Have you had an encounter with the sort of the same sort of thing? Have you been fleeced? Have you been conned? Or do you have a story for us? A little story. Don't write long paragraphs, guys. Come on, condense it. Give me the, 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 the sort of the, the cut version. <laughs> um, do you have a story that you can tell us about how you actually went to a medium and he or she um, was spot on? Don't forget mediums. When we say medium, we immediately think of a, of a female. Don't you? Did you think of a female? You've never, throughout this video, you've never thought of a man, have you? Ha <laughs> ha, caught you out there. You do get male, male mediums. In fact, there are lots of them out there who are either pretending to be mediums or who probably are, or some of them who probably are mediums. Um, I don't know how true mediums do it. Um, you know, as they say, science is simply, uh, magic is simply science that hasn't been discovered yet. So I don't know how they do it. Do they read your mind and in that way come to realize the background and the backstory and pick up names and thang things? Are they, super, are they actually super, super um, empathic and, and pick up vibes like that? Or do they honestly speak to the dead? I don't believe that they honestly speak to the dead. I think it's there's, there's something else happening. There's something else going on there. But having said that, I believe in reincarnation. So I don't believe that the spirits are hanging around. <laughs> I believe they've moved on. So there's all these like, you know, you've got to think to yourself, do I believe in this? And unfortunately, the more you believe in something, the more, the more real it becomes for you. Or maybe fortunately, I'm not sure. But if you believe in something, if you need to believe in something, it can cloud your judgment, it can put on those rose-tinted glasses, and it can make you a lot less um, aware of, of stuff that's going on around you. It can make you a lot less aware of what these people are saying to you. So the video today is basically, I think my, my message is, be aware that there are more charlatan mediums than true mediums. And I don't know how you're going to sort of um, separate 
the two. I don't know how you're going to find out who's real and who's not, um, except by going out there and trying these people. Um, I won't. I don't need to go to a medium. I have my own beliefs and I don't want anyone else telling me what's being said by people behind my back or ghosts behind my back or spirits behind my back, whatever. Um, I don't need that. Um, and I don't know if any of you need that. Um, let me know down below. Sorry, a bit, of a bit of a waffling ramble today. But hey, you know me. I'm that from Tubby Terror and I'll see you on the flip side. Hi, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to go and like and subscribe and check out some more of my videos in my playlists.